Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 153 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I'm underneath my mob farm, because uh, I want to check out the mob duplicator from Industrial Foregoing. Uh, so if we check out the working area on this thing, you guys might remember this from previous iterations. Last time I played with Foregoing, the mob duplicator didn't quite exist yet. Um, so I thought it might be a good time to check it out uh, and see if we can make it do our bidding. Uh, so as I recall, the way this works is you basically just feed it liquid essence and you throw, I don't know, a mob imprisonment tool kind of thing in there. Um, and it should just like go hog wild and make lots of things. So let's see what we can do. Um, so you are, let's say, mob duplicator. Now does that also, okay, yeah, so it's all the same block, but we'll see if that is a deal breaker or not. Um, so do we have mob essence being collected somewhere-ish? We should, we should. We 100% have this, Mob Crusher Essence. Okay, cool. All right, well that's so far so good. All right, mm -hmm. Xnet controller. Uh, so the Mob Duplicator, there's your connector there. Mob Slaughter Factory, Mob Crusher. And then you export, I'm guessing energy, maybe? Could be, I don't know. Items. Items are getting exported. Okay, yes. No, Mob Crusher. Items are exported. Now, you're importing... Uh, is that energy? That's probably... Yes, that's energy. That's energy. Um, so what we want is an, probably another fluid channel, right? xnet fluid channel and you're going to extract from the mob crusher and you're going to insert into the mob duplicator and if that's set up right then you should be getting mob essence beautiful that's cool and now if we put rats in there for example he should be spawning rats look rats Rats are spawning. Yay! That is cool beans, actually. I like that quite a bit. That's awesome. Now, you are obviously going to start draining your mob essence, which is not a big deal. Um, because when we turn on, turn off the lights, or, or talk, turn on the mechanical dirt once again, he'll spawn random mobs and get more and more stuff. So let's get rid of our mob duplicator working area thing. Let's keep an eye on the mob crusher, which I think is currently turned off. Okay, yeah, because we're more focused on liquid meat. Maybe we should have both on. If we had both on, that would be cool, right? I think that's doable. I think that's doable. Right? And they would compete with each other a little bit, but in theory, both would run, right? Or we could do some kind of detector for the liquid meat and have it turn off when it's full. I, I, I don't know, we'll see. But either way, this should now run because they'll kind of compete with each other because of the timing of them, right? So we'll still get, we'll start getting essence and we'll have liquid meat. So like half the mobs on average will be killed by one and half will be killed by the other. I think that's a plan. I think that's a plan. Yeah, because we need the liquid meat to spawn the mobs. So we want to make sure that there's liquid meat available. But yeah, see, we're getting mob essence happening. And item drops, for that matter. And item drops, which is cool. So now what we could do is we could just get ourselves a handful of mob imprisonment tools, right? And go find the mobs that we need in order to do the thing, right? Because last episode we talked about doing reliquary, and then we didn't because we got distracted. It happens to die every now and then. I start to go into, and I fall down a rabbit hole, and I'm like, you know what would be fun to automate? The orchid. And that's what I did. Uh, but now we need to find some slime pearls. That would be cool. So what we need are slimes. That's, that's the gist. So what I'm going to do is make it nighttime. As you can see, there is no wireless transmitter in range. 
Um, and then I'm going to go find, I think the, the, the easier way to find slimes, I think, is to head for a swamp biome. Now the question is, have I found any swamp biomes? I'm trying to think if I have, this is swampy, right? Northwest of me, does that look, does that look relatively swampy-ish? So if we head for a swamp biome and we found a slime, because slimes spawn in swamp biomes now, right? They're not exclusive to slime chunks. Pretty sure that's an accurate assessment of the situation, but we'll find out. Um, we get a slime, we bring it back, we get our slime drops. And there's a bunch of rare mob drops that we might need. So this is setting up the foundation for what will eventually be uh, how we get, you know, a, a decent amount of rare mob drops. So keep on flying, just keep flying, just keep flying, and we'll find a swamp biome eventually. Presumably up here-ish. Yeah, swampy. All right, uh, so in theory, there should be slimes here, right? Are there any special conditions for, for slimes spawning in a swamp biome? Like, is it only like certain phases of the moon or something silly like that? Why do I feel like there's like a, there's like a little extra bit of logic? What are you? Oh, you're another Weldon defender, huh? Neat. Wow, you have a lot of defensiveness to you. You drop Wilden Spikes. Is that a... No, it's a Creeper, right? Yeah, Creeper. Oh, I like my new sword. I very much like my sword. Am I allowed to like the sword this much? I hope so, because I, I really like that sword. It is cool. According to the wiki, they spawn most often on a full moon and never on a new moon. Guess what it happens to be today? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. It happens to be a new moon. So we will not find slimes tonight. So I knew there was something with the moon. See? Dyer knows vanilla. Thank you very much. So I guess what I need to do is pass the night a couple times. So I'm going to go do that real quick and we'll be right back. So back out to the swamp biome we go. Hopefully, yeah, it's a half moon. So that means it's like half as likely to spawn slimes. I don't know. I'm making that up, but it sounds good in my head. So there's at least a chance, whereas, you know, a minute ago there was not a chance, right? At least there's a possibility for slimes now. So we're gonna have to see what's up, see what we can see. All right, slimes, where are you? There's guaranteed to be some slimes out here tonight, right? Right? It should happen. Uh, zombies and creepers I'm seeing on the map. I'm kind of more paying attention to the map than the terrain. It's usually how I do it. You know, you'll find... Hey, that looks like a slime. Oh, it's a baby. Look, dude, I don't know what to tell you about the fact that I have a sword that one-shots most things, but... I have a sword that one-shots most things. Now, what I'm going to do for sure is grab a small slime and a big slime. And the reason I did that is because I want to see how the mob duplicator works. It was not clear. Let me dupe you for a sec. Um, mob duplicator. There's no specificity with regards to, is it like going to perfectly do it? I think that's a no, right? Maybe, we're gonna find out. I'm curious if it'll always spawn a big slime because I caught a big slime or if it will be random. Now the three that we just, but I saw, I thought I saw a little slime there for a second. Yeah, see that's just a little slime. Yeah? And that was a medium sized slime. That's another medium sized slime. So the answer is no. It will not always spawn a big slime, right? Um, now the other question is, do those slime dudes, slime pearls, oh, we already got one. Nice, we already got our first slime pearl drop. That's cool, that's cool, because that was a thing that we did not have. Now you know what else we need? Bats. So I'm gonna let you guys do your thing for just a minute. And I'm gonna go find a bat, which usually I'll find ish over here. Hello, friends. Got you. All right. 
Now how are we for slime drops now? Still one slime pill, but that's okay. I just want to see if we... I want to be sure that we're getting slime pills from these things, right? So I'm going to let them die for a few minutes. And I'm also going to keep an eye on... Our fluid essence. Want to make sure that we're not going to get too low on that, right? I suspect we probably will. I also suspect it might be smart to do something like this, where we store, you know, in an ultimate tank, just have a nice buffer of the stuff. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should get a nice ultimate tank. What kind of what kind of gigantic tank can we get? We have quantum tanks, right? I think quantum tank is the way to go here. Yeah, it should be fine. So what I could do... Is... Maybe what I'll do is put the quantum tank here. And then change the controller. Such that rather than extracting from the mob crusher, not that, this. Yeah, rather than extracting from the mob crusher, I want you to extract from the quantum tank. Okay, and then we'll have another fluid channel here. That extracts from the mob crusher and inserts into the quantum tank. That sound like a plan? Yeah. That should be cool. And then that'll be a nice buffer. And then this fluid essence is being kept in check. Awesome. Okay, cool. I like that. So that acts as a very nice buffer for mob essence, and that'll hold a lot of it. So now that we killed a minute or two of time, let's see how our slime situation is in here. Slime Pearl six, beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. So now that we've got enough slime pearls, at least for now, we can swap these guys out for bats. And I'm assuming that the, the dude will be able to kill the bats. Yes, looking good. Now remember, some of some of the mobs will be killed and not gotten items from. They'll turn into meat, right, and pink slime. And, and I want this back on so that I can let normal mobs spawn in there too to generate more essence, right? So that looks good to me. Cool. And then we should be getting bat wings at some point. Yeah, we already got one. Nice. So that means I can make a coin of fortune now? Yes, it does. All right. So, right-click to activate or something like this? Shift right-click to activate. Okay. Hold right-click to super vacuum. So now what I'm going to do is put this non-activated version on this pedestal from last episode. And that should prevent items from being picked up at all. And it doesn't. So that's a, that's a, that's a lie. Doesn't work. Maybe it needs a redstone signal? Or something? Hmm. To turn on pedestal functionality, either empty hand right click the switch or provide a redstone signal or provide power remotely using redstone block or dust in another pedestal. Aha. Now it should be preventing item pickups. <laughs> Why you let me pick up item? Within its area of effect, it says. Well, what's its area of effect? Hmm. I was really hoping that would work. It doesn't seem to be, though, does it? It really doesn't. Oh, guess what I set up last episode? Oh, we're out of stone. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that was a thing that I should really 
No, that's old stone. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, what's up with you, by the way? You've been gummed up for a while now. Ain't nothing working. What is gummed up here? I don't even know. Are you even... Well, that would explain that, wouldn't it? Well, now we know why that's stuck. <laughs> I'm like, why isn't this working anymore? What's wrong with my create contraption, I said to myself. No, it was just vanilla Minecraft mechanics decided to stop working for a minute and no longer create cobblestone from water and lava. That's funny. All right, well, that's fixed. But we're probably going to need to amp up cobblestone production at some point. Um, and this should be making smooth stone again, by the way, right? Like smooth stone should be added to the mix here. Maybe? Eh, he might be overall gummed up anyway. He might be. He might be. Yeah, that's a, that's a really old cobble works. We might need to make a new cobble works. Because we could do the foregoing cobble works. That could be cool. Could be cool. We'll have to see. We'll think about it. Um, but first off, I wanted to do, I want, the main thing I wanted to do was the, was the, was the prevent item pickup thing over here. And I'm bummed that that's not working too well. Very, very bummed. Because he's definitely on. And it says on the pedestal, just want to make sure I'm not missing something very obvious here. Coin of Fortune. When active, picks up items and XP and puts these in containers beside the pedestal. When inactive, prevents players and pedestals with fortune coin from picking up items in its range. Right? So I assume that its range is, you know, not zero. Because I placed it right next to the thing. What I could try, just for giggles, placing it right next to it. Nope, definitely letting me pick items up. Definitely letting me pick up items. Oh well, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Besides, there's lots of other reliquary things that I want to play with. So, Queen of Fortune, you were you were a bust. Serpent Staff, this looked cool. Um, let's try this thing out. So we're gonna need most of these things. And we also need some Kraken Shell Fragments, which needs, again, Slime Pearls and Squid Beaks. Luckily, I have all that. Though that's all the Squid Beaks I had. So if we need more, you know, we'll see. Uh, let's take a quickie nap and then go try out this staff. Because apparently it turns mobs into the passive for, <clears throat> passive for like a period of time. Isn't that what it said? For 15 seconds. It's a long time. That's kind of neat. I don't think I've seen anything that does that before. Now, did we get all the bat wings? Yes, I think we're good on bat wings. So what I'm gonna do, my, my process for turning this on and off will have to be putting items in there and taking them out. Um, it's probably the best, it's probably the best way to do that, I would think. But let's go try out this passive mob slime thingy because that, it just sounds cool. And away we go. Where's some bad guys? A huge horde of raiders is coming from the southwest. Really? Huge horde? Is that, did we really need to categorize that as huge? All right, so you're here. I'm going to do that. It really does make them passive. Look at that. That's funny. That is cool. That is super cool. All right, let's go check out this huge Horde of Raiders situation because it's been a long time since we visited the colony. Huge Horde of Raiders, huh? It said Southwest, didn't it? This is Southwest, isn't it? Barbarians, Southwest. Oh, there they are. Hey, guys. What's up? I'll be back! Will you though? Will you be back? I'm defending my village. Am I missing them? Like, where did they go? My village looks pretty good though. Like, I like that I made it self-sufficient. It's been a long time since I've checked on them. So I figured it was a good time. 
But where's all these, uh, where's all these barbarians coming from? I don't see, that wasn't that huge of a ward. I wouldn't call that a huge horde of barbarians. Oh, hello. Oh, there they are. They showed up. <laughs> Defended! With my machine gun seeking bow, which is the best, which is the best. We should we should do an episode where I take a peek at how things are going in in the village, but eventually, eventually. Um, yeah, you can go back to existing. By the way, cool. All right, uh, we should look at making stone more frequently because I really want that origin to keep working. So we've made a couple things from Relic Quarry, but I'm gonna take a short break and look at. Um, What's that foregoing thing called that makes... Is it the, the stoneworks? Yeah, that's it. Material Stonework Factory. Can you make all these things? Because that would be cool. I think all you really need is pink slime, which we may not have. My advanced machine frame should be a work in progress, but the pink slime... Though we do have pink slime, so how do we get it? Chemical Dissolution Chamber. 300 millibuckets of pink slime and a glass pane. Okay. Uh, so let's get some glass panes. And let's get some buckets. And what I'm going to do is get three buckets. Because that'll be 3,000. And this will get me enough pink slime. Because 300 is not a nice number. 300 is a very unfriendly number. And we do this and he should make now 10 pink slimes yes cool not a problem so material stonework factories are a good time as i recall um but we're gonna have to make sure we know what we're gonna do with them let's pop him i mean here seems like a nice place as any right this is something ish um So if we want to generate cobblestone, we can also generate netherrack, granite, obsidian, andesite, diorite. Okay, cool. So we just need a bucket of lava and water, and he will create cobblestone for me at the cost of nothing. Which, you know, I like things that cost nothing. That's pretty good. It's a good deal. Not bad. Not bad. And what it's going to do, you, you get to set here. So the way this works is it'll create cobblestone, and then it'll process it up to four times in addition, right? So you could crush it, and what it'll do, it'll crush it into gravel. You could two by two craft it. You could three by three craft it or do nothing, right? So if we wanted bricks, for example, we would do something like this, right? And then it would make bricks. Watch this. cool but that's not what i want i want smooth stone so i want it to smelt and then do nothing right and this is now a smooth stone maker okay so we can set up multiples of these if we wanted to do other things but it's pretty neat right it's pretty neat uh but i would like to speed it up right so foregoing we're gonna want um speed tier two Efficiency tier two, speed tier one. Efficiency tier one? Is this, do these guys just go in here by themselves? I guess no longer does it require the previous tier. Speed tier one. Yeah, no, I don't think it does anymore. Yeah, remember it used to require the previous tier, I think. Okay. Now what we could tap onto here would be an external storage kind of guy.
And we will set you to extract only stone. So I'm going to break you for a sec. Boop. You will whitelist stone extract only. Cool. See, it tried to insert things. It tried to be clever and insert things, but no, that's not what we want. Extract only for stone. Okay. And then what it should be doing, what it should be doing is keeping this running. Nice. Now the question will soon become, is this going to be good enough to keep that running, right? Because as long as we have a net gain on stone here, we should be cool. Looks like we're somewhat breaking even. Um, maybe a net loss, maybe a net gain. I guess it's because it's a little random, the, or the orchids up there, but it looks like a net loss. So it looks like it's not quite fast enough, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I know how to make things faster. In theory. No, rat, come back. Actually, you know what? That's not a terrible place for you to be. You can be under it, can't you? I mean, in theory. But that's a better way. Yes? I'm down with that. One little rat to make things a little bit better? That's cool. That's definitely cool. I like it. I call that a win. All right. So now we're really good on smooth stone for the purposes of this. Works for me. So uh, by the way, I did add a turn on and off lever. Ta-da. Ta-da. There's probably a better way to do that, but that works. All right, so we checked out our Serpent Staff. I want to check out the Interdiction Torch, if I may. Um, talk to me about this guy. I'm curious about him. So these should be cool, and I'm just curious what the range on them is. Now, this should create a wall for us that prevents entities from getting near, right? Uh, which means mobs cannot get near the Interdiction Torch. So what kind of range are we talking about here? So if I were to pop this guy right here, for example, Oh, you make it bright in there. Yes, you do. I don't think I want brightness. I don't really want brightness. But I'm curious what the range of it is, right? I'm curious what that range looks like. I know it's. I know I can only sleep during the day, but it is day. I assure you. I need to. the 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 comforts mod is awesome that it lets you sleep through the night or through the day into the night. But there's like a one minute period of time where you can't sleep and it's just so frustrating so yeah let's let's fly out to our mob spawning area and try out this interdiction torch there's things i'm curious about with regards to the interdiction torch very very curious um do you think it works on bosses asking for a friend and how good does it work like, could I use it to trap the Ender Dragon? Do you think that's a thing that could happen? Well, maybe. It could be cool. I have no idea. But what I'm gonna do is just, first off, like, let's get some zombies angry at me. And then, you know, make them, make them do the thing. I'm actually near our colony right now, so there should be lots of mobs spawning any moment. Any moment now. Mobs are spawning. Any minute now. Come on. Hey, that'll work. Ha ha! You're actually pretty good. Hey, buddy. <coughs> So, not a huge area of effect. Look at that! It reflected his potion throwing. That's cool. How about skeletal arrow arrows? Where, where's, uh... I like. I'm liking, for sure. Skeletal arrows? Is that a yes? I feel like that's a yes. Look at it. Look at it. 
That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I wonder if this works on the Ender Dragon. I'm just wondering. I'm just thinking out loud. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. It's pretty darn close. I'm, I'm assuming that, like, every X ticks, it decides to reflect. So arrows fly pretty quickly. Uh, and as a result, some will get through, some will not. Right? Let's, let's make sure that we're in between. So they're definitely keeping them away. Are they bouncing off me or off the torch? I can't quite tell, actually. Am I wearing something that reflects arrows? I didn't think so. One way to test, right? Excuse me, sir, I'm testing something right now. Rude. Also rude. Super hard to hit little thing. Yeah, they're not, they're not, they're definitely not bouncing off anymore. So I'm thinking that was the interdiction torch. I mean, they're bad shots, clearly. But I'm thinking that was the interdiction torch doing that. Yeah, they're definitely not bouncing like they were before. Yeah, I'm really thinking that's the interdiction torch. Sweet. I might want to try this just for fun with the Ender Dragon. Just curious if that's a thing or not. I don't know, but that's neat. Um, did we ever make the lily pad of fertility? I feel like we checked that one out. But maybe maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't. Yeah, we don't have any fertile essence. Yeah, we definitely didn't do the lily pad of fertility. I'm just curious as to how good that might be. So the vines need to go on this one. Right? And there's your lily pad of fertility. How fast are you? Just curious. Are you like noticeable? Is it bananas? That's all I want to know. Is it bananas? Right? Um, it just says speeds up the growth of crops. It doesn't seem very bananas. It doesn't seem very bananas. I can't quite tell if it's even doing anything. Definitely not bananas. All right, I was just curious. I was just curious. All right, but I think that's wrapping up point. So more things to check out in Reliquary next episode. Um, we've got the mob imprisonment mob spawner dude. I love the mob duplicator. He's great. He's doing a good job. I'm very proud of him. Um, we've got him turned off right now, which means we'll accumulate a lot of mob essence in our in our tank which will be good because we're going to need it. Uh, but for now, it's wrapping up point. So Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and have some more fun with modded Minecraft. All right, guys, take it easy.